All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on to episode number 27, and for today, we are one or two games away from Champ 1, finally. I feel like we've been in Diamond for forever. We had some toxic games to start it off, some ball chasing games, some overall just chaotic games, uh, and we even teamed up with uh, a fan of mine. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of crazy episodes if you want to check them out uh, in, in the playlist. But today, we are Rizzly Bear um, with an abomination of a photo i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how it turned out this way but uh we, we don't talk about this okay let's just leave it alone thank you to mellow boy for the recommendation on this one for the name and, and uh photo i actually changed it to Rizzly bear because i thought it was pretty good um you know just a little nod to rizzo's name a little more but if you are enjoying the series and you're enjoying my other daily content as well between the episodes of the road to super sound legend series uh and you haven't subscribed yet it helps me out a lot if you do subscribe uh we're currently on the road to 1 million subscribers and we're getting super super close I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Let's get into the next ones. All right, Rizzly Bear is reporting for duty. Let's see if uh, Hope T Bone can help me uh, get to a uh, champ one here. He says good luck. I'm gonna go for a follow here. It's gonna pop up in the middle. The guy went for boost. Good try on the. Uh, on the shot, the little doink for my teammate. I'll leave that boost for mid for my teammate because he's rot rotating in front of me. Good touch. Honestly, it would have been okay if it went ahead too. Right here, I'll just wait for, for the opponent to throw the ball in the corner. Pop it up, get this boost as well, steal it from the opponent on the way back. And we wait for the two of them to bump each other in the corner here. Bump the opponent. Right there, I'm just waiting for him to throw the ball out. Good shot. Nice play. That was really good. So right there, what I do is I just try to bait out the opponent, and then I bump him to get him out of the way. And the follow-up for my teammate was really, honestly, really good mechanics there. I'll say all yours for him. Oh, take the shot, I guess, because it's another account. I have all yours instead. I'll go back here. Still don't have my alpha boost attached. Probably should put that on. All right, so trying for the mechanics. I'll go for another touch here, because it'll be hard for him to read off the backboard. Teammate wasn't quite ready, though, so now it's a 1v1. Uh, but I'll go for the demo, and now my teammate can stay with the ball. Good play. See if he chips it in here. I'm across for the pass. It's a good play. Uh, for, uh, for is going to go for the ball here. So. <laughs> there we go. Nice 50-50. Teammate's still recovering pretty slowly, so I want to make sure I'm holding on to the ball. There we go. That 50-50 works out because it goes across. My teammate should be able to follow it. He ends, he ends up deciding to go for boost instead. But here I'll go for the touch once. Grab a couple of boost pads, stay close to the ball here. Hop off the wall around the one player. My teammate can follow it up. Great follow up. And right here, if I just boost towards middle, I should be able to follow it up even if my teammate doesn't. And he does anyway. So looking really good. He's honestly like playing really, really consistently so far. And like I said, at this rank, it's kind of like a lottery whether or not you're going to get a teammate who gels well with you or doesn't at all. So, you know, so far, looking like this guy is pretty consistent, pretty easy to play with. I wait for the shot here until my teammate gets behind me. Then I'll go for the pop. Try to get a landing properly. Teammate miss. Uh, the opponent misses, and my teammate goes for a shot. And there we go. Honestly, that was just like one one challenge, and then they kind of just panicked. Um, they had a lot more time to clear that ball to the corner. Make sure you really look around before you make a clear. Um, on situations where it's a little bit dire, um, you still have to like stay level-headed. I'm gonna pop this to the right. See if my teammate can follow it up. Good try. Pass this to the left around. Once again, just looking for space. Yeah, like I'm just letting them bait themselves in. Good demo. Honestly, I'm not even doing too much. Like, he's actually kind of carrying. I mean, I'm making a few touches around the players in spots where maybe a diamond player might not. But I'm trying to reinforce the whole idea that you have a lot more space to work with. You have a lot of time when you think you don't. And it's that panic um, that sets you apart from someone at that higher level. That just like has a little more of a level head and waits for the chances. Like right here, I know that the opponent has to try and make a touch if they want to uh, make anything happen. And right here, I'm baiting in the other player, and now my teammate has a, a free touch. So that miss is also going to give us some space. T-Bone has some space to get a flick, maybe. Pop it over one. And right here, I'm going to pop it to the side to keep possession and keep close to it. Not trying to do too much crazy stuff. We're up four goals already. Just waiting behind. Once again, baiting the opponent into making a touch. I'll get the back corner here. Wait here for a second. It's all right, challenge. Doesn't really work out perfectly for us, but... Wait for him again. 
a lot of like what I'm doing is just like waiting for them to make bad touches and then just making an opportunity out of what they gave me. Like right here, pop it over one player, let's wait for them. Wait on the sidewall. Pop it the middle for my teammate. Like we're just keeping possession, like playing keep away here. Flick it over one. Pop it over the bat the, the ceiling. It's a great clear for the opponents. It's gonna be a good chance. Right here in loop wide, grab a couple pads. Ends up missing. So right here we'll all stay with the ball on the wall. Jump up for this. Try to get a challenge. Right there when I'm on the wall, oh, by the way, I also hold my uh, drift. And there we go. Well, another panic again where he had possession. He was controlling it. And then once the ball bounced off the, the floor, right here, he, he panicked. He could have just stayed in front of it and got a 50-50 with me. As you can see, I was waiting for a chance that um, he doesn't have to 50-50 me. Because 50-50s won't wor really work out in my favor though in those situations. It's okay that my teammate took that boost. Would prefer he didn't. But he's once again making a shot. Like, he's just popping off, man. Look at him go. He's actually, like, slightly lower than me. He's diamond three. But, wow, what a quick match there. This might be the game to get us champ one. And uh, I didn't even do too much. This is definitely, I think, 12-19 12, 12 19 should be it. He said Smurf. Hey, champ one, let's go. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> what? No. What? Yes. <laughs> Alright, we got Toon and Junior with Mini Yeet on my team. He's a little bit higher ranked. And I forgot to put my Alpha Boost on because it was such a quick Q. Let's get behind here. Let's see what happens. It's a good touch. It actually keeps possession. That panic right there gives us time now, though. Pop it up once. And what I'll do here is I'll go for an aerial. Pop off backboard. And see if my teammate can go in mid. Make a chance. I like that he's taking his time. Pops it up. See if he makes a collection on the sidewall. Good. I'll wait in mid. Oh. I think he used his double jump by accident. And, uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, I'll score that one. I mean, that's just, like, free right there. I don't know what just happened. It's like a circus out here. I don't think any of them touched the ball ever since my teammate, like, threw it up the, off, the, off the little curve there. But we'll take it. First goal. 429 left on the clock. So far, that was just like, uh, I think the opponents respected my teammates' mechanics a little more than they than he, than he had. Right here, I'm going to wait. Let my teammate get set up a little more. Try to bait in a, an opponent off the touch. And then make a touch around. Doesn't quite work out, but teammate covers it pretty well. Make a challenge. And see if my teammate can get mid. Okay, he wants to chase people instead. I think that was free for him. It's a little bit dangerous for me to go for this since the opponent's right there, but he throws the ball away and now I have free possession. Pop it middle. Opponent misses. It's a good demo. I tried to demo him, but he turned in the last second. Thought maybe he was going to tunnel vision for the ball instead. I really should have went for that, but I'm not like fully on board with my teammate yet. Pop it around him so the ball like, gets us a decent 50-50 in mid. Good challenge as well. It's a bit awkward, but the opponent has a touch. He might follow another touch. But he does. That's why I wait here instead. Just waiting for that, that chance. And you, you see as we get better players, we're getting uh, more opportunities to just wait for their touches and uh, back up my teammate. But right here's a good chance. I'll go for it. They do get me uh, beat there. Obviously, probably should have not went, but it's okay since we get a 50-50 that leads to the back corner. Challenge from uh, my teammate. Gives me some open space. It rolls back to me. Right here, I could have went for the ball earlier, but once again, this is also just like champ one level. My bad. Hit my teammate on the way back. It's a good challenge and a good demo, so that's really good. Ended up getting uh, my teammate on the back end who didn't avoid the demo. Let's see what happened here. Oh, so yeah, he didn't see the guy landing on top of him. Ended up uh, getting in the way. That's all right, though. Good play by Toon. Open, get those open shots. Demo was clutch, he says. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed it was. Good. Roll out mid. Go for the aerial early. And it's in. Okay, well, they're right there. I know that I have the early uh, early position because the opponent went for the back corner. So I know if I go on this right underneath the ball, I will beat him. Uh, if the player that was uh, that went for the back corner cheated instead and he was there with 50 boost and the ball rolled towards his side, I would probably decide not to go. Oh, we're doing a fake, we're doing a fake kickoff here, I guess. Interesting choice. Right here, the ball's pretty far off the wall, but let's see if my teammate wants to touch the ball. He doesn't want to. It's fine. I'll grab the ball. The boost in the ball. 
There we go. Got one player out with that ceiling shot thing. Hop around the, the goal. Teammate is going for the demos too. It's absolute chaos back here. Once again, I'm, I'm last man, so I just want to be a little bit careful. And I'll take the shot there. So that was a really good setup for my teammate. Um, it's kind of not necessary. I could have made the touch off my turn, but he uh, kind of popped in middle, and I didn't want to let hit the opponents have a free touch. So I... Okay. Maybe I'm playing too... <laughs> Maybe I'm playing too, too fast. I don't know if I'm playing that fast, honestly. They're kind of like messing up. But let's just see what happens here. Good touch. I'm really honestly not doing that much. I don't know why he's saying Smurfs. I have three goals, but like, like look what that just happened in the last game. My teammate was Diamond 3. Let's see what happens here. Any eat with the shot. I'm going to say who. Just, uh, you know. I, th I guess I, I guess this guy's pretty mad that he's just losing. A lot of people do. A lot of people do do this. They just say. I mean, I, obviously I am smurfing, but I'm not like doing anything crazy. Like the opponent, the teammate on my team last game was doing way more. I'm gonna own goal this by accident. Okay, I'm just gonna miss. There we go. That works. Maybe maybe he'll just stop uh stop calling me out. But you know what? It happens. People get mad. I'm not doing anything crazy. I think that it's more more just the fact that they're not like he has no banner. Oh no. That's what got him? The banner? Are you serious? It's a good try on the shot. That's what got him. That's crazy. Honestly, I don't even care about the banner stuff. Good 50-50. This game's kind of like devolved into like this guy complaining. Even though I feel like my teammates are like doing quite a bit as well. Like obviously I scored three goals, but that one goal at the start was from my teammate like making a play and then they all just missed. Right here, I'll just stay with the ball. He made a touch. It's a good challenge. Uh, kind of got faked up by the opponent. Let's see if he throws it across. Good demo. Good try. Like, he's mad at his teammate, too. Nice. I'm gonna clear it to the corner. Wait for this. Good clear from the side from Junior. Wait for Mini Yeet. Kind of messed up the touch, but... Let's see what happens here. It's a good flick. There we go. Nice. We got nine seconds left. Who cares about banners, man? All right, Mini Yeet. Let's see, let's see what we got here. We got nine seconds left. Good clear to the side. Right here, it went to mid. My teammate tried to go anyway off the kickoff, even though he didn't have any boost. That's a good shot. They, they do, they do, uh, they do, uh, equalize. And now he's all happy-go-lucky. Thank the Lord, he says. This guy, uh, you know, you get people like this, winnable. All right, he's gonna be really mad at me. <laughs> all right, let's get a goal here. Good shot towards net. A little bit panicked. They take the boost. Now he's all like, oh, it wasn't smurfing. Uh, we, you know, we're good, we're fine. Okay, that's a good touch. Get clear towards target here. Bit panicked. Make a shot here. And there we go. So they end up double committing, and that gives us the chance for the open goal. He says, why me? I think he's just I think he's just upset, honestly. <laughs> just giving you a sec to calm down. What is happening? Well, I mean, I don't even feel like I did that much. Yeah, let me know in the comments, I guess, if I did too much. These guys are all champ. And uh, I've seen better mechanics in Diamond than this. So uh, let's get into the next game. Honestly, I'm just going to forget about it. All right, we got Beer Skins and our Beer Skins? Beer Skins. And Jacob and Maselbeck back. Uh, I, honest, I just I should stop trying, man. I should really just stop trying. See a good 50 50 in mid. Should be the opponent. I can tell that he's in that back corner. So I want to be careful with this demo as well. Because I kind of just know that he's going to be there. Um, when he's behind me, I can hear his car. Oh, that's good. Mesa Bike should be able to make it clear. Nice job. Should be clear again from the corner. So once we're just waiting back. Okay, he wants to stay with it. That's fine. 
I would have liked him to pass that back to me and use my my ability to push forward. Okay, clear to the corner. That's fine. Wait for Maselbeck. Getting bumped by my teammate who just wants to take over. That's all right, I guess. I'll just wait behind. It's good. Could be awkward. Go for a 50-50 here. Nice. All right, so here's a free touch. Pop it towards goal. See what they do. Good patience by Jacob to wait for his teammate. Pop off the backboard. My teammate's way too close. Pop off the corner. Jacob's rotating in. I want to try and get a 50-50 here on the last man. And my teammate's going to wait on the backboard. Should make, make a challenge of some sort. Kind of didn't, though. I just wait for the, the corner bounce. Kind of knew that wasn't in. It was a little bit close, but I can tell that... Um, oh, my teammate went for that. Kind of knew there was a chance. Oh, good try. Pass the middle. Beer, beer Seekins. Honestly, I, this name is crazy. And Maisel, this is kind of like a weird game where it's kind of just going back and forth. Nothing's really happening. No one's really taking possession. So right here, I'm going to try and take a dribble. Flick it over one. And make a 50-50 to follow up. Now my teammate has some space to work with. Good try. Great shot. Nice. So right there, what I do is I just get a simple little flick over the sidewall. Uh, and then try to get a 50-50. That causes uh, me to use basically both of their players for two challenges on me. And then my teammate has some free space. And he makes a good rebound. Here's the Kins. Gonna make a challenge, maybe? There we go. Good challenge. Good play. Now Beersikins has some space. Would have been good for him to stay with that, but he does boost into it to try and make a touch. Right here, I'll wait. There's no one on the ball, so I can wait for the backboard. Pop it backboard here. Jacob makes a clue to the side. Come in for a challenge off the corner. See if my teammate can get middle. Good try. Good try. Now, I can see this is going to bounce off the corner a little bit awkwardly, so I'm going to wait in middle a little bit, and then I can stay with it. Take this to the corner or the wall. Pop off the wall here and see what happens. Grab this middle boost and wait for my teammate. Who just keeps pushing up pretty far. But he made a good challenge here. I didn't expect that to come through. Watching for the demos. Pop off backboard. They're in a rule one. Oh no. Oh, they jumped out. They broke rule one? Who jumped out of that? Okay, they broke it. So, karmic justice. I'm going to stay with this, see if I can get a shot. There we go. So, what the, right there, I just wait for the angle. And I, uh, I, I I wait for the opportunity because I see this guy's right here. He's not. He missed the boost, too. I grab that corner boost, and I see the other guy, Maselbeck, is super far away. So, I have time to wait for that bounce in mid, wait for the half volley, and then take a shot. Don't have to panic. Especially when we're up two goals too, you don't want to like try to shoot it super fast and miss, and then it rolls out for them like to get a chance. Teammates pushing up on this ball. I don't want to challenge when my teammates super close. A good challenge. Could be a shot here too. Pass it across, and there's a finish. Nice job. So my teammate baiting himself in super super fast puts me in a spot where I have to make challenges, and I probably could have waited a little bit longer and stayed with the ball. But uh, no matter what, in that situation, if you're uh, in a position where you have to make challenges on your own, you're going to be in the disadvantage. They have the possession, a lot of boost to play with. I was hoping that my team would at least get a touch, but he missed the backflip. So it does happen. Oh, nice. Stay with, stay with this. Let's try to pop it up. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. That's a finish right there. We'll do one more game. The car, he says now the karma is real. That is very true. You know, if you're going to break a rule one, winning the game is just uh, a whole other challenge. What's up? It's classy. Let's get this. We got just another developer, Mr. Faber, for the last game here. Good challenge. going to go off backwards. See if my teammate gets ready for the touch. Tries for it. Good try on the follow-up. Popped off the corner first. And try to follow up here. End up missing. My teammate might be able to finish. Good try. I definitely could have just shot that. But that's a uh, pretty... Like, oh, pretty unique shot to go for. Pop off the backboard again. They do miss. My teammate can maybe take a shot. Good clear. I'll wait for this on the wall. Pop it across. See if my teammate can follow it. Bit of a turn there. Good challenge as well from the opponents. Okay, a bit of a miss. So now we can wait in mid. Staying with it. Just wait behind my teammate here. See what happens. Good fake. 
Oh, tried it again too. It's a good try. I got a little bit faked up by my teammate on that touch. I thought he was going to touch it. A lot of players have been touching those. But it was really smart of him to leave that. You can see how that gave me an opening for a shot. I'm going to take this back corners because my teammate can rotate the net. Get a clear. I'll wait in that now behind him. Get a flick over one. And I flick it in such a way that I can follow it up off the back. My teammate can take a shot. Good try. Okay, now I have some space. And there's boost over here too. So I'll pop it off the wall. Go for an aerial here. Got lots of time. Pop off backboard. Both of them go. So now it's classic. He can come in. I think he got his boost stolen. But he can still stay with this and make a pass. Really good pass. Good save from the opponents too. Wait for this 50-50. Opponent's going to be there first. They end up popping off the wall. You see how the players who just hit the ball as fast as possible don't really make me panic. It's the ones who hold on to it and do something with the ball that like can put you in a tough situation. Good bump attempt. Have some space. I want to take this off, bring this off the wall so it stays uh, quicker to goal. Make a hit towards net, and there's the finish. So all I did there was just boost down a little bit and then do a flip. If you didn't know, whenever you flip, you level out your car, which can throw a lot of people off. See right here, I flatten out uh, on my touch. Whenever you flip, you stay flat. Uh, it's like some weird thing about the physics in this game where the flips always go straight. Like right here, if I'm falling and then I stop, I'm, I'm going to stay in the air for a while. Uh, and that's like a... Oh, bit of a miss. This could be a shot for them. I was trying to explain the flip, and then I ended up just like backflipping. Um, like when you do any backflip or anything like that, you end up just uh, you end up just like leveling out your car. But uh, we're one to one here. We got two minutes left. Players are getting a bit. It's actually getting harder for me to know how much I can do at this rank than before because now it's like kind of awkward, like where. People are moving pretty fast, but they're not doing very much with the ball. And it just makes me like like not really capable of understanding of like what I should be doing. Good save. Whoa. I got an achievement? What is that? My game just froze because of that too. Right here, I'm just gonna fake that and then stay with it. My teammate touching is not a big deal, but I wanna stay with this now. Good 50-50. Like, everyone's on it. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing compared to uh, the opponents. Bump him forward a little bit. Good. Like, everyone's moving fast, but they're just doing, like, weird stuff like this where they just touch the ball for no reason. I mean, it was a good pass, but the opponent was not ready for that at all. Such a tight angle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the opponents even saved what, what a save for that one. Alright, so if he can demo him here, it's pretty much open. My teammate finishes it off, and there we go. That's what I wanted. Well played. We got a minute left. We're up, we're up a goal here. So all we have to do is just play our patient game. Uh, you know, be a little careful with my teammate. He's kind of like touching the ball when he doesn't need to. He has a tendency of grabbing the ball when it's ahead of him instead of just rotating behind his teammates. So with those in mind, I want to make sure that I'm a little bit careful with my decisions on what ball to take. My teammate might be low boost here, but we'll see if he goes for it. Kind of an awkward play there, but I just made sure to wait behind my teammate after that touch. Get a good 50-50, and now Faber has to make a touch in this back corner. Make it clear. It makes it clear. I'll let him try to make a, a play here. Grabs onto it, but it lets go, and there we go. So that's a pretty good set of games. Uh, obviously, there's one guy who's a little mad. He's complaining a little bit. You know, I don't know what to call him, but a bit of a complainer. I think he's just like... Like I said, I'm not trying to play super ahead of the players that I'm playing with or against. Um, we're actually champ one division two still, which is crazy. That's a little bit slower of a climb here. But um, like I was saying, I'm trying to play at the level of the opponents uh, and my teammates. And when I saw the other guy get five goals and he's diamond three, like I don't think I did anything too crazy. It's just some games like people pop off. And like, especially in Super Sonic Legend, you see that all the time where there's players that just like are playing in a flow state that you cannot react to sometimes. And that just happens. Um, and you just kind of have to move on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Um, we're on to episode number 20, 28 on the next one, which is crazy to say. Um, until next time, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.